Hello, I'm Met Service meteorologist Lisa Murray and I'm here with your severe weather update. Cyclone Cook is expected to make landfall in that Bay of Plenty, Coromandel Peninsula area around 7 p.m. this evening. Then moves really quickly through the central region. It should be off the Kaikoura coast around 6 a.m. Friday, then continues south, affecting the east coast of the South Island. But it moves through really quickly and we can see by the end of the day, most of the severe weather has finished just affecting that last corner of the South Island there, while another system moves up the back end of this and affects western regions with showers and some heavy falls for some places. So let's have a look at the warning and watch areas for heavy rain. We've added the Kaikoura Coast, that's just with the positioning and timing of that low, changing just a tiny bit. So Kaikoura Coast, Kaikoura Ranges as well, short term warning, they could see 50 to 70 millimetres in six hours there, so quite a heavy downpours. And um, the rest of the regions are per the watches and warnings on metservice.com. Do check your region for the Pacific timing, the amounts you can expect there. So if we look to the wind as well, and we can see gusting 150 kilometers per hour for those worst hit regions. This is uh, Coromandel Peninsula, Bay of Plenty, and into Topo as well. Uh, last night we added the eastern areas here from Gisborne White down to the Wairarapa. They were on watch, now they've been upgraded. Gusts of 140 kilometres per hour expected for those regions and right through the lower North Island as well. Eastern parts on watch here. We do take care out there because these are extremely strong gusts. Um, it can affect high-rise vehicles, could take down trees as well, especially with the ground being so saturated. With the heavy falls, you could have poor, poor visibility while driving. You know, you could see some surface flooding as well, so good to keep up to date with NZTA. And if possible, do not travel during this period where there is severe winds and rain. So if we have a look at the winds here, this is a wind in action map. I've taken out the lows so you can see how the winds wrap around the system as it moves down the country. So really large swells here and sea inundation possible along the coast to the north and then as the system moves south, that could also uh, five meter swells and then you add the wind on top of that. So really large waves. So coastal inundation, coastal erosion, definitely a problem there. It is really vital that you stay up to date with the latest, wa latest watches and warnings at metservice.com. You can check NZTA for road closures and do keep in touch with those updates from your local civil defense.